Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to update firmware on DigiConnect Core 8x SPC Pro. This is the board I am using. Before going through the update procedure, we need to download Yacto images from Digi website and we need TFTP server. Open single board computers. This is the board. Click on product support. Under software you can see images. SBC Pro upgrade images. We need to download these images. I have already downloaded these images. These are the images I have downloaded. This is Linux image and this is rootf image. From these images you need to choose correct uboot image for your board. You can check DJ website to know more details about uboot information in which one is the correct uboot file based on board variant. Open DJ website. Single board computers. Here you can see hardware variants. Based on this information, you can choose U-Boot file. Currently, I'm using this part number 5001980002. So I'm going to use this U-Boot. Now copy these four images to TFTP server. This is the path I'm using for TFTP server. This is TFTP root directory. I have already copied these images. Once copied, start TFTP server. I am using DigiTFTP server. Now server is running. Now set up the hardware as mentioned at the DigiHelp documents. You need to connect your board to the computer, then update firmware images. Here you can see all the details how to connect to the computer using serial cable. You can use any serial terminal program to connect to the board. I am using PuTTY. Open a serial connection to the serial port using PuTTY. In my case, I am using COM27 and baud rate is 115200. Now it's connected to the board. Now reset the device and stop booting process by pressing any key. You will be stopped at the U-Boot bootloader prompt. Configure the network setting of the device like IP address and server IP. Set IP address and server IP using set env command. Set env server IP. So in my case it is 10.85.1.112. One set now save the configurations. Now we are going to update U boot image. Update U boot from TFTP server, TFTP space, and U boot image name. TFTP server is already running, so it's going to update U-Boot image from TFTP server. U-Boot is successfully updated. Now reset the board to boot into the recently updated U-Boot and stop the booting process. Reset the U-Boot environment to its default values using env default a command. Now we need to configure IP address server IP once again 
and save the configurations. Set a new IP address, set a new server IP. Now configure the partition of the EMMC for holding actor images. Execute below two commands. Set env emmc dev0 and run partition mmc linux. Run partition mmc linux. Now we are going to update Linux image using update command. Update Linux TFTP and image name. Image name you can copy from here. Yeah, now image is successfully updated. Now we are going to update rootfs image. Now we are going to update recovery image using update command. Update recovery tftp and image name update was successful so we have updated all the images. Now we are going to boot the device using boot command. Yeah. So the device is booting. You can also check the device is booting or not by pressing uh, reset button on the board. So now we just reset the device and it is booting automatically. Okay, this is the processor we can update firmware on Connect Core 8x SBC Pro. Thank you for watching.